Hello, hello. In this video, I'm going to walk you through setting up a data pipeline to assist us with database migration. I'm Fox, developer advocate at Maroxa. Let's get started. Overall, Maroxa gives you the tooling you need to build production-ready data pipelines in minutes, not months. For this example, we're going to build a pipeline to assist us with migrating from Postgres to Mongo. Using Maroxa, we can set up a CDC pipeline to capture every insert, update, and delete, and keep both databases in sync in real time. To demonstrate this, I have the following windows up for you. A demo application that's currently talking to Postgres, a terminal to show you the Maroxa CLI, a Postgres database, which in this case we're going to show using a GUI just to make things easy, and finally a Mongo database, and the same for the GUI. Starting with our demo application, it's pretty simple. It displays a list of users from Postgres. For example, if we create a new user in the application, we can move over to our Postgres database, hit refresh, and see the new entry. This application also gives us the ability to edit and delete so we can see that behavior as well. At the moment, if we hop over to our MongoDB database, it currently has no collections, but we're gonna change that. Moving over to the CLI, to get this installed, all you need to do is go to the docs and check out the getting started guide. The instructions are there. But as you can see, I've already run the Maroxa list resources command. This command displays all of the resources in your Maroxa resource catalog. As you can see, I already have Redshift, MySQL, S3, and Snowflake resources already set up. In this case, to perform our database sync, I'll need to add our Mongo and Postgres resources to the resource catalog. We can do this with the Maroxa add resource command. Let's run those. In both commands, we specify the type, the connection string, and any additional options. This may be a little different depending on the environment of your resources. However, be sure to check the docs for some of those edge cases. Once those are added, we can use the Maroxa connect command. This command allows us to connect the resources together. In this case, we can specify the source, which is Postgres, and the table we want to sync, and the destination, which is Mongo. And when we run this command, a couple things happens. First, Maroxa takes a look at your resources and automatically configures the connectors for you. Behind the scenes, it's creating two connectors, one for the source and one for the destination, and we can view these with the Maroxa list connectors command. Then, an initial data sync will occur between the source and the destination. And from there, Maroxa will keep things in sync. Because this happens instantly, if we go over to our MongoDB instance, we can see a new collection has been created. And just like that, due to our initial data sync, all of our existing data that was in Postgres is now in Mongo as well. And you can expect the same behavior for databases with hundreds, thousands, or even millions of records. And because things are kept in sync, if we create a new user within our application, our current Postgres data store is updated, and this change is also propagated to Mongo. The same occurs if we edit the user. The edit is captured, keeping our records in sync. And finally, we can delete this user and see those changes flow as well. The beauty of it all is it took us less than five minutes to set this up and it's all kept up to date in real time. Now, because we were doing database migration, what's left is for us as the developers to write the application code to make the migration happen. However, this is only one of the many use cases you can accomplish with Maroxa. However, if you're looking for more information, the docs are a great place to get that. If you need help, be sure to reach out at support at maroxa.com. And lastly, join our Discord community to connect with us. That's all I have for you in this video. Until next time, have a beautiful day.